Welcome back. I wanted to talk today about the three C's of life, and that is choices, chances, and changes. So you must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. How many of us are stuck in that rut of not even wanting to take that chance or making the choice and just getting so annoyed that our life is not changing. I mean, now that I look back, I realize that the choices that I was making didn't give me a chance to change my life. Think about that one. We have to make a choice and that choice may be hard. It may be easy. It may be testing. It may be, I don't know, come with all different feelings, but do you want to take a chance to just see how it could actually go for you. Take a chance on quitting drinking, take a chance on a healthier lifestyle, take a chance on that business endeavor, take a chance on anything and just see how your life actually may transform. Change is huge. Change doesn't come easy. I mean, <laughs> I've been there, done that. I've had a lot of changes happen in the last year and it's been it's been a ride that's for sure it's been an up and down roller coaster of emotions but it was all started with that one choice of letting go of alcohol and did i want to do it in the very beginning no i didn't i was like why why would i give up alcohol it's part of my life it's part of who i am um all the excuses to give it up, but the day that everybody decided to do 75 hard together, I was like, okay, we all made a choice. And yeah, we had the choice to not do it or do it. And I decided to do it. Figured, huh, why not give it a chance? Figure it out, whatever, I have 75 days of not drinking. I can do that, whatever. Didn't think that it would actually completely change my life. Changed my life for the better. It's helped change so many other people's life. It's helped change my family dynamic. It's helped with weight loss. It's helped with my skin. It's changed my business. It's changed my finances. It's changed my friends. It's changed my family. It's changed my kids. And all for the better. Not one negative besides just navigating the hurdles that come with it. But those hurdles help you grow. Choosing to let go of the one thing that was altering my life was completely life-changing. I know a lot of you think that, <laughs> why would I ever want to give up alcohol? It's part of who I am. Life is boring without it. What do I do without drinking? Well, let me tell you, you laugh your ass off at a comedian show without being wasted. I've been to a few comedy shows and let me tell you, last night, completely sober, with two other sober friends and my husband. I laughed so hard, so hard. My stomach, my abs, I got an ab workout because I was laughing so hard. And I left remembering the whole entire thing, the jokes, the humor, oh my gosh, so much of it. And woke up this morning and went on a two mile walk. And you know what, wouldn't have done that. Last one I went to was, uh, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago and I drank four double vodkas. Yeah, it was fun, I remember it was fun, but do I remember it fully? No. Did they go home wasted? Yeah. Did they wake up hungover? Yeah. But those were my choices that I made, because heaven forbid I take a chance on doing something sober and then not realizing that it would change the whole entire dynamic of the evening. But it all starts with you. And it all starts with baby steps. It all starts with realizing that you're in charge of, you are in control of your life. You're in control of the choices you make. Nobody makes those decisions for you. Nobody can make you change your ways. Nobody can change your life for you. It's all on you. It's all, you hold the power of your own life. If you're miserable and you're stuck and you hate how your life is going, you're miserable, and you just don't understand why, well, make a choice, take that chance, and your life can forever be changed. Because I am living proof that growing up surrounded by alcohol, drinking myself since I was 15 years old, consuming it every weekend, heck, I'd probably come home past curfew during high school. 
I mean, that was what I was doing up in the mountains drinking. And I made that choice. The only life that I knew was drinking. And that's a lot of us. Unless you're raised without alcohol, you don't, you won't quite understand unless, you know, you decided to have a struggle bus with alcohol in the very beginning. Or once you learned about alcohol, and got it into your life, and then you can't say no to it. But I, for one, was one of those that grew up with alcohol all around me. There was alcoholics in our friend groups who actually died of alcoholism. And I mean, I don't want that for my kids' life. I don't want that for my future. So those three C's really come into play in my life and helped me realize that there is a life without alcohol and making, making that choice. But then I also have to continue making those choices. I have to continue making the choice of, is this a good environment for me? Is this a good friend for me? Is this a good social group for me? Is this a good event for me to go to? And not that I am tempted to drink, it's just all the other activating or triggering moments. But I've taken chances on so many things and it's helped, you know, change my way of thinking about what events used to be. Why did they always have to be so all about alcohol? Why was everything revolved around alcohol? Why did everybody, why was everybody's first choice getting wasted? Why did nobody want to give life a chance to a sober life to try to change their life? No, it was just all about the alcohol but you know what it's fine i've learned my lesson by the way did i tell you it's 105 degrees tomorrow's supposed to be 107 it is freaking awful but made the excuse not to right i didn't make an excuse not to go walking again we all make our own choices and does that affect you does that affect other people does do your choices make people not want to be around you do your choices lead other people down a dirty road or a bad road? Do people give you a chance because they trust you, but really you just keep making the like wrong choices over and over and over? Trust me, since high school I've been making those choices. They were my choices that I made, who I dated, the friends that I hung out with, how much I would apply myself in, high sc in school. All these choices are ours. Our parents can, you know, yeah, our parents are there guiding us, but ultimately it comes down to our choice. And now I'm giving my kids a whole different, I'm giving them a chance to do differently than I've done. I'm giving, I made the choice, that way my children have a chance in life. That way they can start 20 years before I did and realize that alcohol is terrible for me. And the friends that I associated with. I mean, gosh, my early 20s was a freaking shit show, literally. Um, the people that you surround yourself with and then realizing that I could have been so much further in life if I would have just applied myself. Again, comes down to the choices you make, it's who you become. And am I okay with some of the choices I made? Eh, I don't think some of them were terrible. They were all learning experiences. But did I always want better for myself? Yeah, of course I did. Did I always fight change? Sure did, sure did. How many of us actually fight change? Most of us. A lot of us do not want to take a chance on life and realize that we can change our whole entire, we can change our friends, we can change our family, we can change all the dynamics, we can make it more positive. We can, it doesn't have to be negative, it doesn't have to be chaotic. You don't have to use that negative energy if everybody just, realize is that there is life without alcohol, giving it up. And then when you give up alcohol, you start to wanna to work on other things of yourself. You wanna start eating better, you wanna start working out. Well, maybe some of you don't, but I noticed that you just get more energy. You're not as tired, you're not lethargic, you're not bloated all the time, you're not haggard feeling, but you know what? Take, give yourself a chance on saying no to alcohol. Give it six months, give it a year and you will realize that your whole entire life can completely change by that one choice that you make. So those three C's in life, choice, chance, change. We all want change, we all want better change. Let's not, let's not lie to ourselves, but you have to do the work. You have to be the one to make that decision and just realize that you're the one hurting yourself and the ones around you by not making the right choices but it's fine we all learn 
these three C's are definitely super important. I would love to know what choice you've made to better your life. What choice did you take to take a chance to change your life? Please and subscribe for more daily walks with me. I am here to help as much as I can.